I'm back with another scale tutorial. This time we'll be having a look at the E major scale. The E major scale only has four accidentals, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. And it follows a very specific scale pattern, which is quite easy to play. Before we start, remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you get it right or if you struggle so that I can offer further assistance. Let's get started. First we're going to do the right hand one octave starting on E. We're going to have one, two and three on F and G sharp. Then I'm going to have one, two, three, four and five. Look at that standard scale pattern. So an easy one to play, left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Doing this hands together. Nothing strange, but to remember that pattern, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, with our standard scale fingering pattern. Moving on to two octaves, we'll just be copying and pasting the standard two octave finger pattern. Right hand first. Remembering I'm doing two octaves, so I'm going to place my thumb after my fourth. Left hand. Four after my thumb, continuing into my second octave. Doing it hands together. As I'm taking these exercises from Hannon, I will now play it four octaves with a repeat, starting nice and low. As optional, we have the cadential progression. So let's have a look at how this cadential progression works. Ending on E's at the bottom, we're going to come up to A in the left hand. We have F sharp, C sharp, and E in the right. Followed by B in the left, G sharp, B, and E in the right. Now we're going to have a little bit of a position change in the right, going down an octave in the left, D sharp, B, A and F sharp. Nicely inside the keys and then finally we'll be coming up to E again and we're going to have E, G sharp, B and E in the right. And there is the E major scale. Thanks again for watching and check out the other scales in the series as well.